Well, let's go back to the province of Manitoba now. The Premier there is looking at a possible curfew to stop late night gatherings in Winnipeg. Manitoba has the highest per capita COVID-19 infection rate in the country now. And uh, Winnipeg is now in a red zone to try and bring the numbers down. 241 new cases, five more deaths reported in the province today. Brian Bowman is the mayor of Winnipeg. He joins me now. Mayor Bowman, thanks for taking time to speak with me. L let me, you know, Manitoba had been doing uh, fairly well. Uh, Winnipeg had been doing well managing the COVID-19 spread. What's happened in the past few weeks in your city? Uh, it's a great question. Uh, you're right. I mean, in the summer, we were the, the envy of uh, a lot of regions in the country, and we were definitely flattening the curve. Um, you know, it's made a resurgence, and, and we're being impacted um, quite significantly right now. And so I think, in part, I think folks just uh, are, have not been as vigilant as they needed to be. And uh, obviously, we're, as a community, working with other levels of government right now to step up our efforts to get back to where we we need to be because the numbers in, in recent days and weeks continue to climb. The number of deaths um, have just been uh, something that uh, we don't want to see, of course, in our community or any anywhere in Canada. Right. Uh, Premier Pallister today floated the idea of a, a curfew at night to prevent gatherings in the city. He wants to uh, consult uh, the people over the next couple of days, I guess. What do you, what do you think of that idea? Yeah, I mean, that was the first time we've heard about uh, the possibility of a curfew for our, our city and our region today. Um, look, uh, what I've said uh, today in, in other uh, media requests is just that if the province has the epidemiology and the evidence to support it, if it's the right thing to do, uh, I think they should just do it and uh, not waste uh, a, a single day in uh, surveying. Um, you know, the, the virus doesn't take a night off and time is really of the essence. And so... Uh, if the if the science and the and the evidence support a curfew, then uh, you know obviously I think they should just take that action. I mean, a curfew is a pretty drastic measure. What 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 are you seeing in your city? That so let me let me go back a bit. So you you want them if it, if you think it's if they think it's the right idea to go ahead and and do it now. What do you think? Do you think it's the right idea? Well, I, I certainly haven't seen the evidence to support it at this stage. Uh, they've they've discussed. Uh, uh, a single party today in uh, in the premier's press conference, and so um, again, the the province has that that data and the health information. And again, if they if they've got data that supports it, then I think they should do it. But it's not that's not information that that I've been privy to. I've actually seen the community doing its part. I've seen people stepping up. Um, you know, businesses are being shut down. The streets are getting awfully quiet. And Winnipeggers are doing their part. I mean, we know how to weather storms here. We'll weather this storm. Uh, we will make it to the other side, but um, we know it's going to take a lot of work. And, and if the province and Manitoba Health feel that that's one tool that's going to help flatten the curve, then we'll, we'll support that. Uh, have you been uh, satisfied with the response from provincial health officials and the premier to the pandemic so far? Well, there's, there's always improvements that could be made. Um, we've been working really hard to, to support Manitoba Health. Um, you know, we took the lead on masks, making it mandatory in all city facilities back in August. And uh, I called for uh, shortly after that uh, this fall for just a, a province-wide uh, mandate on masks. Uh, it took some time, but I know they've moved to a level orange outside of the Winnipeg metropolitan region. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of analysis that can happen after we've gotten through this pandemic of all levels of government and what they could do better. At this stage, we're just trying to make sure that they can be as effective as possible and be co collaborative because right now all governments really need to work together in order to protect the safety and well-being of our residents. Right, but I, I get the sense in listening to you that uh, you, you, maybe you're not all that satisfied that, that things that, the things that are being done now maybe should have been done sooner. Um, yeah, I, that, that's a fair assessment. I mean, we, we'd like to see things move a lot quicker. I mean, the, the province announced uh, new powers that they were giving to municipal governments about a week ago. Uh, we're still waiting to hear from them where they want us to target any enforcement measures uh, that we might be doing on, you know, uh, to help them out. And we want to do that. Um, you know, we're still waiting for, for that information. And in the meantime, we've moved from an orange level to a red level. And so, yeah, there's a sense of urgency. And, uh, you know, like I, like I said earlier, I mean, the, the virus doesn't take a night off. It doesn't take the weekends off. I mean, it, it, it's moving through our community right now. So time is of the essence and we want to move as quickly as we can. But do you think health officials and, and, the, and the Premier share your sense of urgency? 
Uh, I think they do now. Um, there, there's certainly um, an urgency in the discussions we're have, having with um, some of the ministers. Uh, I just got off the phone with the uh, Minister of Justice and the Minister of Municipal Relations. Uh, there's definitely a sense of urgency now, and, and, and I'm, I'm glad. I mean, we want to move as expeditiously as possible to support their efforts. Okay. So, I, just in, the, in, the, in the less than a minute we have here, I, I know you've been pitching for uh, small businesses too. They're, they're now in this uh, red zone lockdown phase, essentially. No, uh, no dining in in the restaurants and bars and, and so on. Uh, you've been pushing for more help for them. W what is it you want in particular from the provincial government? Well, firstly, I mean, the federal government has stepped up in a significant way, and we should acknowledge that. Uh, the province has a, a package, but I haven't met many businesses that have been able to qualify for it. Um, so what I'm hearing from, uh, for example, I'll give one example. There, there were a number of restaurants and, and bars that were closed uh, about a, a couple weeks ago. And, um, you know, what we heard from them is what they'd like to see and what I'd like to see is that when there are provincial public health orders rolled out, that there's corresponding targeted financial relief for those industries that are directly affected. Because the province is aware. I mean, the, the measures are intended to, to slow them down or shut them down. We'd like to see a corresponding uh, support there. I mean, province and, and federal governments uh, collect PST and GST respectively when the economy is pumping on all cylinders. Uh, there's a corresponding obligation and ability for those levels of government to support business when they need it most. And right now, they really need it. All right, Winnipeg Mayor Brian Bowman. Uh, thanks so much for your time tonight. Take care. My pleasure. Thanks.